He said in the 2016 campaign, when he was asked by a reporter uh, if he had had a cognitive test, he said, oh, I'm tested all the time. But there was no follow-up question, could we see, we see the results? So we've moved from that to this latest statement by uh, Karine Jean-Pierre, you read, that he doesn't need one. Well, you know, when you're when you have symptoms of whatever it may be, uh, I used an analogy later in the in the column. Let's say you're driving down the road at a high rate of speed and your car is weaving. Police officer pulls you over. He sees a bottle of uh, liquor on the seat and smells alcohol on your breath and asks you to take a sobriety test. You refuse, uh, but you can still be uh, prosecuted for drunk driving. So if he refused the cognitive test because he allegedly didn't need it uh, and still displays all of the symptoms of uh, a cognitive uh, problem, then I think you can still reach the same conclusion. 